Hello everyone, this is Sandra at The Whispering Well. So I'm using my phone today, so I don't know how this is going to come out. This is just to show you something I'm working on right now. Um, I was actually inspired by Gerald over at The Hermit Mage, and he also has another channel, Tarot Stash, when he showed... Um, that he keeps like a, a catalogue system for his tarot decks where he writes on cards and he's got what looks like an old style library drawer for them. Anyway, I couldn't find something like that, but what I did find was this. Now this came in pieces, so it had to be like built up, but you just slot the two sides in and then it's got these little white rubber things around it um, and they, they're circular but they fit on there that keeps it solid and then you know you just fit these these in so it is wood um, I believe it was cherry wood it said it was um, so that's that this this video is going to be all over the place it's going to be really messy probably <laughs> um oops focus <laughs> and then what i got to go with them were these like business card size blank pieces of card and you get yellow blue it's like a mint green and white and the white ones have a few more in but it was 400 cards for like eight pounds or 8.99 on amazon so it was really good and this was around 10 10 or 11 pounds on amazon too so what i thought was i thought yes i love like writing and Kind of cataloging systems and I thought I'm gonna do this so these pieces of card they're shiny a little bit on one side and matte on the other so obviously I will write on the matte side and you see they'll fit in perfectly in there and then I'll just do sort of a b c and just carry on down because I can't get sort of header cards with A, B, C, etc. on it because they would just stick up. Um, so, uh, and I don't think you can get them business card sized, but anyway, I'm going to start at the top and just work my way down A to Z, obviously, um, with these. And just for this I decided to buy a fountain pen now it's not a really expensive one it's a Parker Jotter I think they call it retro style pen so that's what it looks like I thought writing with a fountain pen would be so cool I haven't written with a fountain pen for years used to when I was in middle school but I mean we're talking a lot of years ago now with that so this is what this is going to be and I've got some stickers but I don't know if I'm going to use them really for this because I'm planning to buy a leather um, sort of journal but it was going to be more like um, a book of shadows so I'll just show these anyway. So these were the stickers I got. And it's, um, oops, let's move those. And it's 60, you get 60 stickers. And I think these were about £3 on Amazon. And those are the different designs. They're quite gothic and skulls and things, very kind of Edgar Allan Poe-ish so I might save these for when I do the journal but that's that's what I've got for now guys but I just thought I would show you 
my little um, project something uh, to do which takes your mind off of other things and stuff as well um, because I, I have anxiety so very often I need something to kind of take my mind off overthinking and stuff like that and here is a radiator this is really exciting guys but the here on top of like a little cabinet i've got these two plastic boxes which are full of incense <laughs> well not well kind of full not completely i think there's a couple of um incense holders in there and this is my um soft toy pangolin because i um give so much a month to um, the trust for saving pangolins born free um, because they they are taken and killed you know for their scales and things and it's such a shame because they're such a gentle animal so I do support the pangolins here which I will be showing at some point is a deck that I was sent and I've got it in this little bag that uh, Robin from Toadstool Tarot made and I won it in his giveaway a while ago now but I, I really love it it's a really nice little bag and here is just where I have like another little kind of sacred space really by the window so I've got like a goddess in that corner green man tea light holder cauldron another little um sort of there it's another little um cone holder inside um this box is more incense uh, oh what a surprise more incense oh let me see if i can open it it's trying to do things one-handed is a nightmare isn't it so in there is they're they're like cones but they're actually sticks but they burn like a cone and these are really cool and these are the nag shampoo ones and i do have the um nag shampoo um super hit as well and then these are just the little um things that come with them for you to stick stick in that's just like a little box where I keep that and like I said that's just a cone holder and this is just my uh, goddess statue um, big fur cone there some incense burning some crystals one that is precariously hanging on the edge there look that opalite because one of my cats has been up there fiddling um, that's my goddess offering bowl that I've had for years, a little dragon, and that is my other Kanuno statue, but it's actually broken. It's a little bit broken off of his horn and a little bit off of the snake that he's holding in his other hand that you can't quite see. So, so yeah, that's my other little kind of sacred space, if you like. Um, yeah so that's it for this video guys it was just to show you this and thank you gerald for inspiring me with this and i'm sure i'll talk to you all soon bye <laughs>